Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, this channel is all about educational tools, tips, and technology. So if you don't want to miss out on all the fun, please make sure you subscribe. YouTube tells me that 90% of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know how can I improve and win your subscription. In today's session, I will be sharing you tips on how to go completely full screen while you're using your Microsoft Teams to teach or record your classes or even record your webinars. This could be a good option or a good tip for people who try to feed the Microsoft Teams meeting into OBS so they can record the complete meeting and have it downloaded for the students or presenters or even upload it to YouTube. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. This is so simple yet effective. Before I go ahead and demonstrate how to get a complete full screen experience while you're using your Teams meeting, I first want to demonstrate what is like to have a full screen experience while you're using your Teams app and when I feed that into my OBS. So here I am on my desktop version. I'm using a Windows operating system. This is my desktop Teams app. This is my demo classroom. I'm going to go ahead and click Meet Now. So here is my Logitech camera. I'm going to go ahead and click join now. I do not want to invite anyone to the meeting. I'm going to go ahead and expand the meeting window. And as let me scroll down a little bit. So as you can see, this does look very nice and it, it does look full screen, but I can still see the name of the meeting on the top. I can see the toolbar for Microsoft Teams meeting and I can see my Windows taskbar. So when I'm feeding this into OBS and recording, all this will be recorded and this will take me a lot of time post production. So I do not want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on these three ellipses and I'm going to make this a full screen. And as soon as I make this a full screen, the meeting name has disappeared. Windows taskbar has disappeared, but I still see the toolbar on the top. And this will take me some time in the post-production to clean this up. So to not have anything on the full screen and completely have your full screen experience, let me get out of the Teams meeting on my Teams app on the desktop and let me show you how to get a full screen experience. So I'm logging off the meeting. So I logged out of Microsoft Teams app and I logged into the Edge browser. So I'm not on the desktop version. I am using the Edge browser to log into my Teams online. And here I have the same classroom. I am going to click on meet now. And here I'm using my Logitech camera. I'm going to click join now. And this is being fed into my OBS. Definitely, I don't want to invite anyone. Again, I do not want to see the address bar. What I'm going to do is because I'm on the Edge browser, I am going to click F11. If so, it gives you a full screen experience. But you might say, Bhavani, I still see the toolbar on your left hand side. Yes, I'm coming to that point. Here, I'm going to click on these three ellipses and I am going to click on enter full screen. So as soon as I click this, as you can see, everything disappears. Now, I have my video camera right here. I can always change my video camera, but look what happens when I click. Everything disappears. My audience still see my video, but when I am feeding this into my OBS, it is clean and crisp. So here I'm using my Edge browser and I'm using the full screen option along with F11. So that gives me a complete full screen experience. Now let me go back and click here and I am going to go ahead and share my window. Let's see. I'm going to click share. And as you can see, when I'm sharing the window also, I have a full, complete, full screen experience. This makes my post-production so much more easier and saves me tons of time. So let me stop sharing, go back to my meeting here. Again, to get a complete full screen, I click or press on F11. And once I am in a full screen mode, I click on these three ellipses and I enter full screen. Once I'm in full screen, one click, everything disappears. 
a click back, everything comes back. So I have complete control on what I am doing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learn how to get a full screen experience for your Teams meeting so you can cut the post-production time. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe. If you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so because I know educators do not want to see all the student faces while they're recording their lectures. Did you know we now have a Facebook page where you can connect with me and exchange educational thoughts? I will leave a link in the description box below for Microsoft Teams technology and canvas playlist do not forget to check them out leave a comment in the comment section below what you like and dislike about this full screen experience like always happy teaching and please take care of yourself